Todd Jacob of NJ.com here with Brandon Wimbush, a class of 2015 quarterback from St. Peter's Prep. Already holds multiple offers, including Rutgers. How you doing, Brandon? I'm all right, man. All right, I've seen you out here slinging the football. Just talk a little bit about, uh, you know, what you were able to accomplish the first half of this event. Um, I just wanted to come out here and help, help the other QBs. There's a little amount of QBs here today. Only, like, two showed up. Uh, they're, they're good, as you can see. I just wanted to help them save the arm. I got to throw to, to some good receivers out here. Uh, I just want to show my talents off to the to the um, Chesapeake. Yeah. Nice, nice. Now, obviously, you're a younger guy, so you know you're not looking to compete in this event anytime soon. But uh, what does it mean for you to you know get your name in there early and uh, represent your high school uh, in front of the Chesapeake crowd here? Um, as as, as uh, Coach John said, a lot of our uh, St. Peter's has been represented well in the in the Chesapeake Bowl the past couple of years. Uh, I would just like to be a uh, part of it next year. Uh, as a rising senior. I know I can't be in it as a rising junior, but um, just to get my name out there and participate for like 10 minutes is uh, better than anybody who's not doing it at all. Nice, nice. Now, you you played a little bit last year um, behind a senior quarterback um, that had a lot of experience. You got in, uh, you know, was able to uh, get in there and get and pick up some kind of playing time. How does it feel going into this season, uh, being a starter, no doubt about it, and having an opportunity to really showcase your full uh, level of talent? Uh, I've been waiting for this really my whole life, uh, show my talents off to the, to the country, really. play a couple of out-of-state games. Um, I feel like I've deserved it. I've worked for it. So now I'm ready to go out there and show off. And, um... Take my team to state championship. Cool, cool. And and watching you play last year, undeniably, you have a big arm. You're a great athlete, um, and you can make all the throws. Um, probably one of the main issues was maybe a little bit of touch on some of those throws. Um, just just discuss a little bit, you know, some of the things that you've worked on going into the season. Uh, definitely. Um, going over defenders, over linebackers, into spots, and just definitely working on the touch and um, the scenarios of the play, like, you just have to know what uh, type of play it is and where the ball is going to be and, and the holes and the coverages. So you just have to work on the touch. And you can't really um, – and all that comes with preparation and uh, working off in the off season with your, with your coach. So that's all I've been doing. Brandon, which schools have you been hearing from? I know you got multiple offers. I mean, who's, who's recruiting you most aggressively? Um, I would say – I would say even though Ohio State hasn't offered, I talk to Coach Warner um, a lot, Miami. Call Coach Coley once in a while, Penn State, uh, Rutgers. Um, and I'm just waiting for more to come. And I know Brendan Rutgers is a school that has offered you already. Is it a school that, that you're considering in your recruitment? Yes, it is, definitely. And Vanderbilt has uh, recruited me a good amount. So. And talk a little bit about Rutgers, how you feel about the program uh, at this point in your recruitment. I know moving from conferences is going to be a rough a rough. Uh, Change, but I know they can handle it with the people they have there and the maturity they have. And um, and John Hilleman and Minka Fitzpatrick are being highly recruited by Rutgers. So it's always like they always come back and they're in my backyard. So it's always a good spot to be. Have you ever had any uh, conversations with those two guys about the possibility of playing together? Uh, um, Definitely. We always talk about that. Uh, we don't know where we want to go yet. John still hasn't committed. Uh, it's late. Um, he says he's either, either commit September or after the season. So we'll just see where he goes. It'll be a big surprise where he goes. And um, Minka, I always talk about him, rooming with him wherever he goes. So close to. Well, that's good to know. Thanks, Brandon, for your time. This is Tadrick Hunt, NJ.com, signing off.